Okay, I think um, what I've learned um, in the final panel and also a kind of a global takeaway of our one and a half days conference is that it is um, we have to overcome an idea of a linear planning process with a given ambition. So a given ambition maybe is also such as a NOBI and then have a kind of rollout on the regional level, on the local level. Um, but we have to come to a much more interactive process um, to form or to, to, to develop transition. Because, for example, the issue of values and ambitions um, evolves within a transition process. It is not something that is given at the beginning that we want to radically change our lives. But we can start processes that encourage, pe encourage people to do something, that ex they experience that we can do something about it, that we can organize a world that has a quality of life, etc. And then coming to a kind of evaluation and thinking anew of the future and being even more ambitious, maybe. And so I think there's a Okay, it's too. You, you schneiden das, no? Okay, you you we cut you cut it, it yeah, because uh, I cannot. It's <laughs> impossible. No, I think we we have to. Um, we yes, we do have to think planning anew because the this linear linear scheme of planning is not um, helpful to organize transition. And we uh, need to interact better. I think we, we have to speed up processes and we have to be much more interactive and reflexive within the process. And there's also is an issue of spatial scales. So we have also to jump from one scale to another and to also have a better interaction between national, regional and local scale. And um, I think that Planning is embedded in, in a political process and we cannot neglect that, it because it's also about kind of coherence or legitimacy or, you know, um, to manage, managing really enormous conflicts. And so we have to organize it in a way as a society as a whole that we do not le um, just, you know, um, Oh, that sounds very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. It's, you know, there are also there are winners and losers. There might be winners and losers, and this is also a political problem that we have at the moment. So that's why I, I talk also. It needs I think to be fair. It would have to be fair, and I think it's a cultural process also. You know, uh, so there are values that shared values. There's a common good that we have to envisage, and to be more and more clear about it. But you cannot just. Uh, install it from a top-down perspective, but it has to be shared by stakeholders, by participants, by you know citizens doing something. So this is what I mean that it is a process that is much more interactive and ha that has to evolve. And this is far away from a line linear notion of planning where you have a clear ambition at the beginning and then you have uh, indicators you know, that will measure if your implementation has gone the right way and they think this does not work anymore. Mm -hmm.